Hello and uh, good morning. My name is Neil Pinkett and today's car is the Ford Mondeo Estate. This is the 2 litre TDCI and uh, it's finished in a bright uh, red colour like a tornado red and uh, the purpose of this video is to show you around the car, let you know anything about it that you need to know if you're coming from some distance. But it is uh, a tidy car, I have driven it for about 15 miles this one and it drives very well. It has the advantage of the 6 speed manual gearbox as well. It's 56 plate 2006 registered in uh, in October 2006. It's just one owner and you'll see all the history later but basically there are no dents really to describe. There are a few minor scratches but they're all very small indeed. Nothing really again of any consequence. Even the front leading edge of the bonnet is pretty uh, free of stone chipping or heavy stone chipping. There is some but uh, it's uh, pretty acceptable for the age. The glass is all good. The headlights look all nice and the bumpers all fit straight and true as well. Uh, this one has, yes it does, it has the heated front screen which is just the job for the winter. Come those winter months that screen will clear very quickly indeed. It's a really good uh, feature on the Fords. Um, so we've got that as well. Obviously all the usual power steering and air conditioning. What we'll do is we'll run around the tyres. So that's a Continental tyre there and that one's got about 80% to go on it so it's plenty of meat. This one here or even more I'd say, there's 90% to run, plenty of meat again, high level brake light, rear wash wiper, <clears throat> excuse me, again 90% to go, so virtually new tyre there, Continental, and uh, yep, about 80% to run on that one there, so really nice condition car actually. Um, what we'll do is we'll go and have a look at the history a second. Okay, yeah, welcome to, welcome to the document section now for the Mondaire. First of all, we've got a V5. Uh, this is the owner's document. Shows uh, Lease Drive Velo as the first keeper of the car. And the car is a 56 registration, registered on the 10th month of 2006. It's an LX TDCI estate car with 163 grams per kilometre of CO2 emissions. Uh, Colour's red, and uh, that's about it, really, isn't it? Yep, uh, CC, 1998 CC. <coughs> MOT, MOT currently is valid until October the 18th, 2010, and there were no advisory issues when that was done at 74,000 miles, so you can see it's done a fair old mileage in the last uh, uh, year, uh, or eight months I should say. We've got the owner's pack in the original wallet, with the radio code present, owner's handbook for the radio, and the actual manual for the car itself. Uh, we've got a few uh, little bits of bills and receipts and things in here. Uh, also there is a service history book with the car uh, in terms of uh, stamps and printout it all adds up to make a nice uh, service history there are a few bills and receipts as well <coughs> excuse me um, and they're all in these little wallets and things so uh, what we'll do uh, they're all main dealer Ford as well Evans Holshaw by the looks of it the service print is actually the most uh, comprehensive uh, item in terms of the service history and you normally get these with a uh, lease company. Uh, for starters the first entry is a service at uh, 13,000 miles and then the next one is at 29,000 miles and the one prior to that, you can turn the page over accurately, was 45,000 miles and that had an air conditioning uh, recharge uh, do, 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 hydraulic brake fluid change and then the next one after that was 62,000 and that looked like a basic service and the one after that was 75,000 that was done in October 2009 and the one after that was done at 77,000 including discs and pads on the f pads on the rear uh, pads on the front and a caliper was seized on the rear and that's been sorted and then the last service history actually you know, there's one prior to that as well 87,000 miles of the service done on the 5th of March 2010 yep so that was the last service 5th of March 2010 so it shouldn't need a service yet and the cars had eight services in total and in April 2010 there were looks like three uh, continental tyres uh, supplied so it's just as we like them there just nice comprehensive service history the book has got uh, one, two, three, four, four stamps in it, but uh, the usual thing, they haven't just taken bother to take it out of the glove compartment and stamp it, but that is the main thing, the service printout from the fleet operator. Okay, so it's all there, let's return back to it. Okay, so welcome back then. 
electronic boot release for the uh, rear door. Nice clean area actually. That's pretty clean indeed. So that's not been used for heavy work. It's got the, the uh, baggage cover. There's a 12 volt power supply in the back there as well. And there are single, uh, two head restraints. But that's all pretty tidy that. Just as we like to see it. So, go and have a look around the back here in the uh, passenger area. So what we've got is manual windows in the rear and very tidy rear seats here plus the headlining is all nice in tidy condition there are no ho horrible odors or smells uh, inertia real safety belts times three actually there are three headrests there's just, just tucked in there and there are pockets in the back of the uh well just the drivers of uh, the passenger seat there okay and there's an ashtray and all the usual things but all tidy condition carpets look in good order into the driver's side We've got electric windows, electric mirrors. We've got uh, cruise control, airbags are plenty. There should be about six airbags in here by the looks of it. The car is showing, let's have a quick look a moment, 94,075 miles. All the lights go out as they should. Airbag light, ABS light goes out. Car starts up fine. <clears throat> revs up and it responds just as it should fingertip control for the audio as I said electric mirrors are just tucked in there uh, they're not folding ones no no it's got a parrot hands-free kit now that's a nice useful bit of kit that Bluetooth's to your phone so all you do is you keep your phone on Bluetooth immediately get in the car it connects up and you can increase the volume decrease phone book and everything it's very very clever worth about 200 pounds one of those air conditioning blows nice and cold we've had that running uh, there we go turn it on and the fans will blow fine. It's not a dual zone aircon unit, but it is a climate aircon. And uh, the radio all works fine as well. Although reception is pretty bad, let's try another station. It's obviously been tuned into a station that's not local here. I will leave that for the moment. Uh, it's got the clock as well. Up here we've got what spectacles case. Have we got uh, vanity mirror? Yeah, we have indeed. There we go, there's the radio we're working. You can increase and decrease the volume from there as well. Okay, basically then that's it. Tidy condition on the seats, centre console, a little bit uh, marked up. And uh, yeah, but there's the all important six speed manual gearbox and the clutch is absolutely spot on actually. Very, very light clutch. Can't complain about that and the brakes are all fine. Obviously, you know, if you're not mechanically minded, bring someone along, have them check it out. But uh, I would say that's all okay. Let's uh, shut it all down. Okay then, interested in that car, do give us a call. The telephone number is at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.